Hey, Shalom Israel. We back again with 15 minutes with the captain. I'm Captain Tazawan, and to my right, Officer Baruch. And we're gonna get right into it. Today we're gonna deal with the second commandment. All right, so let's get into it. Go to Exodus chapter 20 and read verse 4 real quick. Let's go to it. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Right or that is in the earth beneath, mm -hmm. or that is in the water under the earth. So we're going through these different segments of understanding the basics of the commandments that you read about in Exodus chapter 20. Right now we're dealing with worshiping of other gods and making graven images and idols unto these gods, all right? Other gods outside of the true God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? Our God, the living God. So read that again from the top, come on. Exodus 20 and 4. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. So the Lord commanded that we shall not make any graven image, carved image, read. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. So the things that are in the heaven above are like birds, all right? Animals that fly, fowls of the air, read on. Or that is in the earth beneath. Or in the earth beneath, in the seas, read on. Or that is in the water under the earth. Uh-huh, so the things that are on land and in the waters, read. Verse 5, mm -hmm. thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. So you'll find in our history where the nations and those of Israel would make graven images and, and bow down themselves to those images and do what else? Nor serve them. And nor serve them. So now that's why we're going into this topic today because you'll find out today in, what is it, 2020 right now? You'll find out that you so-called black, Spanish, and Native Indian, Indians, you of the children of Israel, you still bow down and serve these gods today. And that's what we're going to make plain. So what you're going to do is you weigh up the scriptures that we're bringing out onto your daily lives or the times of the year on which when you serve <laughs> these other gods. All right. So keep going. Come on. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God. The God, the true living God, is a jealous God, read. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children mm -hmm. unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And how you show how you hate God is by worshiping all these other gods. So let's get into it real quick. Come on, let's do this. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 8. Give me that real quick. We were supposed to remember the commandments, and this is how you show how you serve the true living God in those actions, all right? So you're going to see how you serve other gods today. What celebrations or holidays that they call them, right. how you serve other gods in these last days. Read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 8. Right. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand. This is talking about the commandments that God gave. You shall bind them how? For a sign upon thine hand. Meaning you do them upon your hand. It's in your actions. You do it. Read. And they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And you shall remember them. Frontlets and between your eyes. You remember them. Read. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house. And then you write them on the post of your house. That way, any, when you coming and going, wherever you see, you see the laws and commandments of God. From that, let's get Hebrews chapter 5, verse 14. Now, we have to be able to discern exactly what... What is a God or not? Because I used to celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. I used to celebrate Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, yeah. all these Halloween. I used to celebrate all that stuff. And I didn't know it was a God. Right. I didn't know it was an other God. I thought God ordained those things. Mm -hmm. But you'll find in the scriptures, it was never even written. All right, read that. Come on. The book of Hebrews, chapter 5 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised. The to, point of what I'm dealing with is this right here. Read that bottom part again. Even those who by reason of use mm -hmm. have their senses exercised. When you keep the commandments and the faith of Christ as Israel, you have your senses exercised. How? To, to discern. To both, discern. To tell the difference between, read. Both good uh -huh. and evil. The good and evil. The good is God's commandments. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 sound doctrine. The evil is anything outside of this Bible that you're doing, you're not supposed to be doing. In this instance, worshiping of other gods. So we read in Exodus chapter 20, verse 5, it says, Thou shalt not uh, bow down to them, nor serve them. So how do you serve them today? What are the gods that you serve today? Let's start with the beginning of your so-called year. Right. January. You worship the god called Janus. Mm -hmm. And today that modern turn of Janus is being called, uh, what is it, Baby New Year? And, and Father Time, right. all right? And you celebrate in the first of every year that you so-called say, January the 1st is what? A new year, right? And you celebrate a celebration. You revel, you have parties, such and such, right? 
uh, what's after that? The next month, Valentine's right. Day. The fourteenth of every single of February, you celebrate something. You celebrate uh, a man, Saint Valentine. All right, and he was a saint, so called, right? right? Set up by a pope to worship in ancient times. All right, let's get that real quick. Let me get that in um, Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. Thus, in process of time, chapter fourteen, I believe. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, verse 16. chapter 14 and verse 16. Right. Thus, in process of time. Because the customs that you keep right now was set up from a long time ago in ancient times. And you think it's something to be celebrated today. You got to ask yourself, and I'm going to name a list of celebrations that you celebrate today. Ask yourself, where did these celebrations come from? You can literally put in. Christmas, the origin of Christmas, right. and it'll show you that. You can put in the origin of Valentine's Day and show you that. You can put the origin of Halloween and put up that. And you got to see and compare, is that in the scriptures? If it's not in the scriptures, maybe I shouldn't be keeping it. No, you shouldn't be keeping it, plain and simple. So read where you at. Thus in process of time. Read. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 16. Mm -hmm. Thus in process of time, right. an ungodly custom grown strong. Was kept as a law. An ungodly custom, meaning something that was never ordained of God, was kept as law. A celebration, a cel uh, a, ho a holiday that you call it. What is uh, an annual festival? All right, because they so, shut things down early. Right, yeah. they do. And so, like Christmas, like you just said, mm -hmm. you'll have everything shut down on that day to what celebrate this false god, this dumb idol, this god. Kind of, sort of. In a sense, because when we have high holy days, right? Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to work, right. cook. Yep. We're not supposed to uh, 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 kindle fires. Mm -hmm. We have certain restrictions on the days in which we worship our God, all right? So you try, the nations try to mimic that and do that. That's why you don't work on Thanksgiving. Right. <laughs> That's why you don't work on your um, annual celebrations. Okay, so here we go. Let me name the list of them. I said one earlier, it was Janice, right? Father, uh, baby new year. And Father Time, all right? You got Valentine's Day, which is in um, uh, yeah. February the 14th. Easter, all right? Which bunnies don't lay eggs. Right. And where do you ever see Jesus Christ when he rose up? Was chasing eggs around, yeah. picking them up, finding eggs away, right. anywhere. So you got to ask yourself, where do these things come from? Where do these customs come from? You're going to see and realize this is how you serve these gods. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. Another one of those is St. Patrick's Day. Everybody walking around wearing green, mm -hmm. thinking they leprechauns. Uh, you got Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. The Lord never said put the turkey down and cut it up. Yeah. Um, and you got Christmas. These are some of the very few celebrations that you keep thinking that you're worshiping God. All right, but you're not. You're worshiping another idol. Read that verse. Come on. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. Right, right. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. You know that ye were Gentiles. So there was a time period in which the Israelites that was being spoken to right here by Paul, the Corinthians, mm -hmm. which were the Israelites, um, taking those Gentile names. Paul said, you know that you were Gentiles. How were you Gentiles? What makes you, what's one of the characteristics that made you a Gentile? Read on. Carried away. You were uh, carried away, meaning you were led, your actions you served. Read. Unto uh, these dumb idols. Unto these dumb idols. What were some of those idols they celebrated back then? Diana, yep. the god of heaven. Mm -hmm. Okay, you worshiped uh, Astaroth, all kind Nimrod. of other gods. Nimrod. Mm -hmm. You worship uh, Zeus. Mm -hmm. This is what the Corinthians were worshiping back then. The Greeks, all right? The Romans, they worship other gods. One of those gods, some of those gods we just mentioned, like Janus. Yep. That was set up in old ancient Roman times, all right? Bacchus. Bacchus. There you go. Actually, we're going to get to that, right? Get, come on. You got to slow down, bro. Hold on. <laughs> Second, uh, Second Maccabees real quick. Yeah, in the Apocrypha. You good. You good. You good. Second Maccabees chapter 6. We're going to start at verse 1, That's all it. right? So how were they um, How were they Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols? We're going to get an example of that right now. Read that. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 1. Right, right. Not only after this, the king set, uh, sent an old man of Athens. Athens is a city in Greece. Read. 
to compel the Jews mm -hmm. to depart from the laws of their fathers mm -hmm. and not to live after the laws of God. So why can't I keep the law of thou shalt not kill, commit adultery, or anything like that? It's because the agenda of these Romans back then was to strip you from your laws, your statutes, and commandments. This is which, which is why we're revealing unto you how you should not be keeping these false gods. Let's see the example of one of these false gods. Read, come on. Verse 2, uh -huh. and to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem. And to pollute the temple in Jerusalem. Why? To the intent that you can forget the laws. Read. And to call it the temple of Jupiter. The temple of Jupiter. Read. Olympias. Oh, read on. And that in Gerizim of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, mm -hmm. as they did desire that dwelt in the place. This God that was set up, instead of calling it the temple of Jerusalem, call it the place of Jupiter, which is Zeus, mm -hmm. all right? Because a lot of times they worship the planets as gods, yes. all right? That's why when the Lord said in Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1, we're going to go to it, you shall not be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Mm -hmm. Keep on reading where you at. Verse 3, mm -hmm. the coming in of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people. The coming in of this these false idols into the temple was grievous unto the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. All right, read on. For the temple was filled with riot. And that's what happens. When you celebrate these false gods, there's rioting behind it. Like they say Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. Kiss whoever under the mistletoe. Right. A dog, your father, your grandfather, your grandmother, your mother, your sister. Kiss them under the mistletoe. Where did Jesus Christ ever say, do that? Mm -hmm. Read, come on. For the temple was filled with riot. So in this case, it was filled with rioting, whoreling, um, whoredom. All right, read on. And reveling, and reveling by the Gentiles. By who? The Gentiles. Now, how will we carry it on to these false idols was when we were forced to by the Gentiles to do these things. The Gentiles set up these customs in our houses, in our temples. Read on. Who dallied with harlots. And they dallied with whores. Read on. And had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places. Right, it says, and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places. So in these holy consecrated areas, they dallied with women in the holiest of temple, in the temple, read. And besides that, brought in things that were not lawful. They brought in all sorts of animals. Uh, swine was one of the biggest mm -hmm. ones. Pig, yep. that's an ancient word, swine for the pig, read on. The altar also was filled with profane things, mm -hmm. which the law forbiddeth. Right, like I just mentioned. You read Leviticus, which is another law of the Lord. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7, we were not supposed to eat of swine's flesh. They brought that into the temple, sacrificed it on our altar, and had the nerve to eat it. Read on. Verse 6. Mm -hmm. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Right. And this is the thing. You've been stripped so far and so between of your heritage, your customs, your laws and statutes that you actually think you're a Gentile. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sum it up. You actually believe that an American is a nationality, right. is a nationality. When you being Israel is much more of a nationality in your customs than being an American. Yeah. All right. You don't descend from an American. All right. Read on. Come on. Verse seven. And in the day of the king's birth, mm -hmm. every month, they were brought by bitter constraint. So this is how you were forced to be Gentiles. This is how you were forced to serve these dumb idols. One of these examples right here, read on. To eat of the sacrifices. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept. Bacchus is Bacchanal that you keep today in the islands, all right? That you revel all down the street. Carnival is what mm -hmm. you call it, read on. The Jews were compelled. Now remember, on these days when Janus was brought into our temples, they reveled. They gyrated and had sex with harlots and all kind of stuff in the temple. Likewise, with these customs right here on the king's birthday, you did the same things. Read on. The Jews were compelled to go in, pros in procession to mm -hmm. Bacchus. So carrying we compelled, ivy. we were forced to go in procession carrying ivy, all right? Carrying these customs and these things that they did. Read. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. Moreover, then went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen right. by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews that they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. Right, read that bottom part again, that they what? That they should should observe the same fashions. That they should observe the same fashion. So our natural fashion was keeping God's commandments, right. not worshiping these other gods. But the Gentiles, by the suggestion of Ptolemy right here, he said, no, they're going to do the same things that we, if we keep Christmas, y'all going to keep Christmas. Yeah. And that's what happened in captivity. 
If the slave master was a Baptist, the slaves were. Mm. If the slave master kept Christmas, you were. If y'all kept Thanksgiving, the slaves did. And that's how we were forced to be Gentiles. All right, read, read again, come on. Get, read where you at. That they should observe the same fashions mm -hmm. and be partakers of their sacrifices. And just in case you thought you had an opinion to not do it, what would happen? Read on for the verse next nine. Verse. Read. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles right. should be put to death. So in which and ways how you serve these other gods is through your actions. And you do it. They have it set up early sometimes. Mm. In the middle of, daggone, what is it? Uh, November or October, they'll set stuff up for Christmas. Right. And you're going out and you're buying all the Deck the, the 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 popcorn for the tree. You buying the tree. You getting the uh, the the angel for the top of it. Nothing. Yeah. You're going out and you're getting gifts and preparing. You making sure you catch your Black Friday sales yeah. so that your grandchild can have this bite for the year. That's what you do. This is how you serve these other guys in their in your actions. The holiday uh, spirit. Yeah, you in a holiday spirit. spirit. That yeah. fake spirit. That false spirit of giving. When it's really serving another God. Yep. From that, go back to that. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and read verse 2. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. So in 2 Maccabees chapter 6 verse 9, it said what? And so which you're going to serve these other gods, right? Read on, come on. Ye know that you were Gentiles. If you serve these other gods, what would happen? You'd be put to death, all right? So it says, ye know how? That ye were Gentiles. You know that you were Gentiles. How? Carried away mm -hmm. unto these dumb idols. Carried away, forced to serve these dumb idols. And we read one of those examples. Read on. Even as ye were led. Even as ye were led. Forced to do so. Yep. All right. Go back real quick. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. It says a lot in 1 Corinthians. That's what they dealt with a lot. They dealt with serving of other idols. And Paul was writing to them, telling them to transform their ways. Read, come on. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. But I say that these things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. What the Gentiles sacrifice? They sacrifice unto devils, other idols. Read. And not to God. And not to what? To God. Not to the true living God. Come on. And I would not that you should ha have fellowship with devils. And you shouldn't have fellowship with devils. This is why. Because you can't mix the two, read. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord. You can't drink the cup of the Lord. You can't say you Israel keeping the commandments. Read on. And the cup of devils. And celebrate Christmas at the same time. Those two don't mix. You can't serve the true God and worship another God at the same time. Read, come on. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table. You can't say I'm keeping the Passover. Read. And of the table of devils. And after the Passover, I'm going to the Easter celebration. Right. And, and, and get Easter uh, uh, Easter uh, bunny eggs for the kids. That's evil. Read. Come on. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Yes, we do. Read. Are we stronger than he? Right. Are we saying we're above him? Go read on uh, first uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Excuse me. Chapter 15, verse 15. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods. So we learned the ways of the heathen and we counted their celebrations, their reveling, their whoredoms as a, a way to celebrate that God. We kept the laws and statutes and commandments in the temple. Mm -hmm. and we saw the nations and we said, oh, snap. That's how they worship their gods in the grove. Mm -hmm. They strip themselves naked, drink wine and just have at themselves. Man, that's what our mind was and our attention for lust. Read on. Which neither have the use of eyes to see. These guys have neither use of eyes to see. Read. Nor no noses to draw breath. Mm -hmm. Nor ears to hear. Right. Nor fingers of hands to handle. They can't see. They can't touch. They don't have a tongue to talk. They don't have anything. They're false. There's They, they, they don't go as far as the statue that you see. Read on. And as for the, their feet... They are slow to go. And they can't even move. As for their feet, they can't move. Read on. For man made them. For what? For man made them. So man made the God. Why should you worship it? Read on. And he that borrowed, borrowed his own spirit mm -hmm. fashioned them. And he that borrowed his own spirit himself fashioned this fake God right here. Borrowed from who? Jump up to verse 8 real quick. Come on. Verse 8. And employing his labors lewdly, mm -hmm. he maketh and vain God, once again, making a vain God of man's hands, read, of the same clay, mm -hmm. 
Even he, which a little before was so made of earth. So this is in the scriptures when we talked about in Exodus chapter 20, verse 4, how you're not supposed to make any graven images of any likeness above or on the earth beneath or in the waters, right? A man will make a graven image after these gods. Read on. He maketh the vain god of the same clay. Mm -hmm. Even he, which a little before was made of earth himself. He was made of earth himself. Because in Genesis it said, from the earth you came, from the earth you shall return, right? God formed man of the dust of the ground read come on and within a little while after returning to the same because when your body dies your soul goes back to who gave it right. read on out of which he was taken mm -hmm. when his life was lent unto uh, excuse me when his life which was lent him shall be demanded so the lives that were lent unto our forefathers was given to us by the most high god and we had the nerve to make a uh, stone of God. Right. That's what the Lord is saying right now. From that, let's get last scripture real quick. Uh, Luke chapter 20, <clears throat> verse 27 and uh, 37. And 37. Luke 20, 27 and 38. The book of Luke chapter 20, verse 37 and 38. Mm -hmm. Now that the dead are raised, excuse me, now that the dead are raised, even Moses showed at the bush when he calleth the Lord the God of Abraham. And the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Right. For he is not a God of the dead. For he is what? Not a God of the dead. He is not the God that we serve. The God of this Bible is not the God that you think created Easter or right. Christmas or that created uh, Thanksgiving or Halloween. They got the nerve to put Halloween in churches now. St. Patrick's Day, 4th of July, all of that. All right. He's not the God of these dead gods. Read on. But of the living. But of the living, the things in this Bible, the true God. Read on. For all live unto him. For So how you live unto God is by serving him, by keeping of the commandments and the faith of Christ. And with that, we say shalom. Shalom, Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.